Hey YouTube, this is London 3876 and I'm back with another Lego Harry Potter review. This is ages 6 to 12, set number 4865, the Forbidden Forest. It was released last year, 2011, based on the last film. Cost $13, 64 pieces and 4 minifigs, as you can see right there. Awesome box cover that they've done. I like the background as well. They do pretty awesome backgrounds for Harry Potter. Um, this side of your box, you get Harry Potter there. Harry Potter, Harry Potter. <laughs> um, this is the back of your box, and you've got um, a little picture that, two pictures that show you what's going on and the playability right there. You get one spare piece, the Technic piece, and for the instruction booklet, right here. I'll quickly skip to the page. Cool page there. Um, here, this has um, 18 pages and 19 steps, and another cool little picture. Okay, so let's go into the minifigures on the close-up. First, you have Harry Potter with his Gryffindor torso and black legs, a little bit of back printing and double side head and brown wand. This is Rubius Hagrid or just Tagrid and um. This is the first review I've done him in, so it's pretty cool how they've made him. Um, Lego just made it just for him, like all his body and his hairpiece. So that's pretty cool, and I like how they've done his feet also. Um, sorry if I've um, gone somewhere else, but yeah, um, his arms do move in that. And under his beard is that face, and that's his hairpiece. No back printing. Um, and that's Hagrid. Um, next is a exclusive minifigure to this set, is Nakisha Malfoy. She has a black wand and a cool little torso and a dress piece. A little bit of back printing there, and she's frightened there. And she also got a, she also has a cool little hair piece where she's got a strip of blonde in her hair, and you can take her hair off. And she has a double side face, and that's a little bit bigger, good of view of the back printing. All right. So that's Nikisha Malfoy. Next is Lord Voldemort. He has a white wand and he's got a cool little torso. Green a little bit and pure black. And he also has a cape and he has no back printing. And he's got a cool little snaky head. Well, that's what people say. Alright. That's Lord Voldemort. And last but not least, but because it's not a minifigure, it's a little piece of accessory. Um, this is supposed to be Nagini, Lord Voldemort's pet snake. Um, I'll read, it's just a normal snake and they've added it in here to make it as Lord Voldemort so that's yeah that's okay I'll take the minifigures away for a minute and we'll go into the tree so this is the tree I like, I like to call it the Whooping Willow Whooping Willow and yep you get blue f flames here, so Hagrid can stand there as he is trapped. 
out and how he is supposed to save him, but not really. He's a prisoner and you can stick him in like that. Um, they've done a pretty good job on the tree. Um, you get a spider there, three branches, and, yeah, okay. Um, you get two stud pieces there, or uh, connecting pieces, so you can sit Harry there, and this is where the technique piece is, and it throws them off, and you also get a little mushroom. And you can put Harry Potter here for the playability, or so he stands on those studs. And what happens is, if I can get the bright out of this, um, you flick this one, and it throws them off. I'll do um the Keisha. See um how good she works on it, and <laughs> and that's not supposed to go off loopy. Okay, and oh no, she won't work. So um I think that's about it for this review. Thanks for watching. I hope you comment, like, and subscribe, and um. Beware to see a collection video of the Deathly Hallow sets that will be very, very shortly. But not that soon. <laughs> and, yeah, so thanks for watching and subscribe. Bye.